Today we have this raft that the floor was losing air very slowly in it. So the first thing we're going to do is check this valve to find out where our leak is. This is soapy water. Inside we're getting no bubbles. Whereas on the outside, if you can see them here, you can see the bubbles coming up. So this tells me that the inside of our valve is in good shape. We're not having our problem with the leakage there, but it's our seal on the outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my valve wrench, put it on here. Every time you use these plastic valve wrenches, you need to put down pressure with one hand while you turn with the other. This is tight. I can hear air still leaking out. That was, that was a fair amount of pressure there. We determine that our issue is not with the tightness of the valve. That means we have obstruction, sand, dirt, something between the floor and the bottom side of the valve. So what we're going to do is release all the air out of this floor. To do that, we push down this center button and turn it counterclockwise. A quarter of a turn, it will stay open. This will allow all the air to come out, then we will remove the valve. The reason we let the air out is this is our valve. And it's this white portion that I'm unscrewing right now that is inside the floor of the raft. And if you didn't remove the air, this piece could roll someplace else. There's no way if this is floor is built with this piece inside of it. So we had to let the air out so it's going to sit tight and not move around, hopefully. So we put our valve wrench back on and we're going to go the other way, lefty loosey, counterclockwise, and unscrew this valve. This valve kind of surprises me a little bit. doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of dirt there. And there's some dirt down here and I can feel it. You can see it on my finger. It's just grit. And this is probably what's keeping us from being able to get a good seal. So what we're going to do is take this valve. We're going to go to the kitchen sink, get some warm soapy water. We're going to clean this really well. We're going to come back with soapy water and clean this out also. While we're doing it, we're going to go ahead and clean this O-ring gasket at the bottom, even though it wasn't leaking, just to be sure while it's apart, we might as well clean it. You can see this portion that is still left right down here. I'm hoping nobody comes through and kicks this raft and moves this place out. Then I'll have to try to get this piece back in where I need it. We have our valve cleaned now. We use warm soapy water. Same thing with the raft, it's clean. End up using a little glass cleaner on it too to clean out any of this textured area. One thing we have to watch for on this style valve is this knot right here that holds this string at the end of the string to hold the cap on. That knot can get off to the side and cause it not to tighten down well. So I'm going to be sure and hold up on this while I'm tightening. Some of the other style valves don't have the string. We'll show you that in a minute here. So we're clean and we're just going to screw this back in. I'm holding my left hand here, the rubber, so that white piece underneath doesn't go any place on me. And I'm getting close to being tight, so now I'm going to put pressure on my string to keep that knot in that little groove. We got it tight with our fingers. Now we're going to put the valve wrench back in, holding down on it, tightening clockwise, and it is tight. Next option, next procedure is to put air in it, and let's see if we leak. We talked about the other style of valve. This one here, the lid is held on with this plastic deal around the top, so there's no knot to have to contend with on these valves. Some of these valves you'll run across also have a gasket in them. This gasket has grooves on one side and is smooth on the other side. The part in the raft is grooved. Grooves go to grooves, smooth goes to smooth. So be sure you're putting that back together right also. Our floor inflated now. You can see it's tight. I'm standing on it. Let's check it and see. 
No bubbles on the outside. No bubbles on the inside. We got her fixed. One other little tip here. Every once in a while, you can actually over tighten these. And so if you will loosen it up a half a turn while you have your soapy water on it, and you can play with that a little bit and find the sweet spot where it will stop leaking. Because if I loosen it up right now, of course it won't leak as I'm doing it when I want it to. There it comes. So we're leaking here. And I can actually over tighten this where it won't. And let's check her again since I loosened it up. No bubbles, we got her good.